everyone, it's Susie. Welcome back. And if you're new here to Dragonfly Bee's Resale Journey, I'm so happy you are tuning in. In this video, this is the final part. Part 3 of the unboxing 10-pound jewelry lot from America's Thrift Supply. So there is a lot more to go through, so I'm going to just jump right in and start off with this group of gold tone jewelry so let's start off with the um, front and center how's that yeah let's start off with this one this is a herd of elephants it has a fold over clasp the drop on this necklace is approximately seven inches so let's take a look at them they have tusk. They are all going somewhere. <laughs> uh, I don't see a maker's mark on this. Um, but here's what they look like on their backside. Oh, there's a tiny one. So that must be in the center bottom, is it? Yeah, it is. So, okay, you have all these elephants of the same size and um, the tiny one in the middle, centered bottom, and then the elephants go that direction. So we have this really uh, nice elephant-filled gold tone necklace to start off part three. This next one is um, a heart. It has a nine inch drop. This is made by Avon. And it has this heart pendant. There are some scratches on the back, um, but it slides open to the side and it says something. It says, um, love is patient, love is kind on the inside. And even on the back of the, the cover, which has a cross and a rhinestone in the middle, it says um, the same thing in, I believe that's Italian. Is it? Or maybe, or even French, I don't know. But it says the same thing in, a, in a, another language. <laughs> and it just um, slides right back very nicely. The chain is this simple gold tone chain. It does have the jewelry tag with the NR on one side and Avon on the other. It has a lobster claw clasp and this extender that has a little gold bead at the end. So we have this very nice Avon. Uh, love is patient, love is kind. Pendant necklace. This next one, these bars are always fun, right? It fans out. It's on a gold tone chain. There is a lobster claw clasp. As you can see, this one has a drop of almost eight inches, but you do have that extender bringing you in close. You can see all these bars have the polished tops and then the bottom half is textured. The back of it looks like so. Um, yeah. I don't know, is that where? Let's take a look at the chain. The chain looks like um, there is some wear, like discoloration right, right here. But other than that, I think it's pretty cool. I like it. So we have that. Next we have these gold chains. All different shades of gold too. Um, let's see, this one is more of a yellow gold. 
and has a lobster claw. This is costume. This has a drop of about 10 inches long. So this is a 20 inch chain with this twisted rope design. And there, it looks really clean, yeah. So we have this nice one. This next one um, is a rope design. It has a elongated lobster claw clasp. Uh, let's measure the drop on this one. This one is a little, um, it's a little over 10 inches, but I'm gonna say this is a 20 inch necklace. So we have this and taking a look at the clasp, it says 14K right there. So this is something that needs to be tested to see whether or not it is. Um, yeah, so we're gonna put this aside and, and test it. The next one is this flat curb chain. Let's measure the length of, of this one. This is pretty long. Okay, let's see. This one has a drop of about 11 inches. So this is a 22 inch chain. It has a textured design to it. This is in great condition. Let's take a look at the how it's finished off. This also has an elongated lobster claw clasp. And this is marked um, 14K Italy. So this is another one that will need to be tested. I'm not getting excited yet. You see how different they are in tone? So we'll test these at the end of the show uh, to see whether or not they're real. So moving on. Next up, we'll go over the earring pairs. But before I do that, this box contains all the single earrings. I mean, there were so many. Look at this one. This is so cool. Even this one here, it's like an Art Deco-ish style post earring. This one is marked Harvey Bernard, but sadly, it's just one. And um, yeah, there's a few others. There are some pairs in here as well, but uh, they may be missing some uh, rhinestones. So we have this box that will be added to the single earring lot. But in the meantime, let's go over what we do have uh, as pairs. Uh, first one up is this really cool silver tone tassel earring. It has this hook wire. So that's one. Next up is uh, these heart earrings. They are silver tone. And here's the back of them, uh, unsigned. And they're also on these hook wires. And, um, oh. They are not magnetic, so okay. These will be put, put aside to test. Put that aside. Next up, these are post earrings and um, the Miraculous Infant Jesus of Prague. And that feels like a, a black glass bead along with this uh, clear one that has an AB coating. Uh, they, look a, they look a little different. One figure looks smaller than the other. Well, that's odd, but they both say the same thing on the back. Hmm. We have this pair. These are really adorable and they're in great condition. Um, this one here is a little huggy earring, but look, it's got this puffy bottom, gold tone. And then you have this pair that has that type of closure really uh sweet very small but in great condition so we have these two pairs so as you can see not precious metal so that's one and this one is also magnetic not surprising uh this one here open work 
with rhinestones. Oh, 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 I think I see one missing already. Uh, hook wires, hook earrings. There's the back. So we have this pair. These are fun. Post earrings, crosses. Um, they do feel cold, so they may be glass. Crosses, multicolor. This next pair are dangling chandelier style earrings with a, they're like a gunmetal tone with some, I don't know, has like a, a blue tinge to it. Hook, hook earrings. Maybe that's the back. Yeah, that is the back. <laughs> okay, so this is the front. Let me show you the other one to make sure that it is in good condition and all the dangling coated rhinestones seem to be present. And this is in nice condition. Let's see. Oh, yeah. These look like all the dangling parts are present. So we have, we have this pair. These are sweet. Little flowers, post earrings. You know, they actually, I don't know, some type of um, shell maybe. So we have this pair. These are really cool. They are post earrings and they're little like crystal cubes, like ice cubes. These are fun. So we have that pair. These are neat too. These are copper tone. I find it so amazing how the design keeps that bead in, in there, you know? The little squiggly um, I don't know. Yeah, they're squiggles. Squiggles! Post earrings. You know the top of it is like a copper tone? And it has a tiger eye bead. Really neat. This next pair, th these are elephants and they are signed best. Needs a really good cleaning. These are old. I will put backs on them. Uh, they both say best on their hind leg. So these are sweet. Look how nice they are. Oh, oh, oh. One of them has a black little bead for an eye and the other one doesn't. <sighs> so the one on the right is missing an eye. So we have that. Um, over here, these are lever backs. Look how pretty, a gold tone with the AB coated rhinestone in the center. Here they are. Um, this one here is super clean. This one has, has some uh, cleaning to be done in there. But that's how the lever back is on the back side. Um, I think these are really pretty though. Ah, come on, they're not cooperating. Yeah, there you go. Aren't they nice? So put that over there. Here are some open hoops and they're post earrings. They have this hammered design on the bottom portion of it. So we have this. This here is a, a hook earring with these uh, pink and blue beads. Here's the backside, super clean. There's, e there's even a rhinestone in the middle. All the beads are there and I found this um, matching stretch ring <laughs> that has that same uh, design. 
almost like a compass, right? Because of those three beads on all around. And the stretch is good. Good, good, good. So this will be sold together. Right there. I'm not doing a good job here. Okay, how's that? Okay. Next up, these are Puffy Hearts. Um, Leverback. Leverback earrings. There's a back side to them. They do have, looks to, well, <clears throat> yeah, maybe a little wear in there. How to get wear in there? <laughs> uh, they are um, a little bit on the uh, heavier side. Not super heavy. And they are magnetic, but they are really nice. Um, in any case, I like them. And I am not, you know, I don't usually like hearts or flowers <laughs> in jewelry. Uh, this next pair, really fun, silver tone lever backs. And they have a heeled slip-on shoe. They have this silver tone disc. They have this little rhinestone. They have this dangling part and this filigree bead. Really fun. Um, yeah, silver tone. And I found the same thing in gold tone. So you have the same type of charms hanging off of it. Oh, I forgot. There's also a wing. Yeah, this one has a wing too. Yeah. Yeah, there's the wing. See the wing? And it comes in... Oh, I found the gold tone one and the silver tone one. And they're both lever backs. This year I showed in part two the um, pendant. Really nice. But I found the matching earrings. So here are the earrings. Really nice set and i also found the matching earrings to the cross pendant remember this one and the matching earrings are lever backs this one how come it's not closing is it the hinge that's not working correctly you could still wear them uh this one is good maybe this one I don't know but here are the earrings and they match the pendant perfectly next up are these uh, clip-on earrings with all this hanging off of it but you know what you can remove that because they're clip-on, so you can just take that off. This does have uh, some discoloration on the back, but I'm hoping that can be cleaned. So if you wore only this portion of it, it would be a button earring. But you have the option of adding this ring to it. And this has um, different, uh, I guess, donuts, rings. So we have this pair. I think it's really fun. You have the option of wearing it with or without. <laughs> with or without this um, part. So these are clip-ons. Here's another pair of clip-ons. These are silver tone. No marks. Nope. But they are cool. Look at that. And uh, I don't think that's a stone, but look at the design. This, like an antique silver design. I think they're really neat. So we have this clip-on pair. Another clip-on pair I found are these with this uh, LC emblem. LC, I believe is Liz Claiborne right there. So these are clip-ons. 
um, it's missing the little pad, but this one has one that's kind of deteriorate, de deteriorate. It's, uh, needs to be cleaned off. <laughs> I can't say that word. What is up with me? Um, but this one is kind of nice. Um, it does have, okay, it has this mark here. Then I'll, I'll see if I could get that off. But, um, I do like the bottom portion of it. You know, it looks pretty regal, right? So we have this clip-on pair. And did I go over everything? I, I believe, I believe so. So, all right. The, oh, no, I did not. Look at this. This is a card filled, filled with these post earrings. Different sizes of rhinestones. I mean, look at it. It's even prong set. You have different sizes of these glittery, well, yeah, textured, uh, beads in silver tone gold tone different sizes of faux pearls of gold tone and silver tone polished earrings and how many pairs do we have here 18 pairs there's 18 pairs on card brand new so we have this okay next up necklaces silver tone ones in fact so let's start off with um with these these are the um, Omega style. You know what? I do see some discoloration right here and along that fold over clasp. Hmm. And all along the insides. Not so much down here, but okay. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this one first. Uh, this one here measures in at Oh, about seven and a half inches in drop. Um, okay. Still nice and slinky. I don't see major wear on the sides or the bottom. More so up here. So we have this one. And then the next one is a is a longer one. Pretty much the same size. And this one measures in at. Well, let's take a look at this one. This one's in better condition. Also has a fold over clasp. Needs a bit of polishing up there. Um, yeah, this one looks uh, much better. I don't see any of that discoloration on this one here so let's measure the the drop this one here is about oh i would say a little over eight so this one's um this one's a nice one and yeah when you wear these you can just add a pendant to it or just wear it alone i think they look really classic so we have these two and then next up, I found this amazing faux pearl necklace. But before I look at that, let's look at what's above it. This here is a memory wire, but look, it's these metal spirals. And it, the ends actually look like the ends that you would see on a safety, um, on a safety clip, I, th I think that's what you call them. Yeah, those safety pins. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm trying to think of. Needs some polishing. That's what it looks like on the on the inside. <sighs> I think it's really fun. So let me um, grab a magnet and see if those are. Yeah, sure is. But nonetheless, I think this is a really nice one. You don't normally see these flexible metal ones. So we have that. Now I can show you the faux pearl necklace, which I thought was pretty incredible. After examining it, I see no stones missing. Um, there's clusters of three pearls in each little section, along with all these beautiful 
rhinestones all around. The chain is really sweet. There's the chain. And there is a um, lobster clasp along with an extender. So let's take it off the display and measure it. And then I'll show it to you close up. It's really, really pretty. Um, put away the magnet. This one here has a drop of about eight inches long. So give or take a 16 inch necklace and you do have a sizable extender to use. So now let's take a look at the components. Um, yeah, they're pretty, uh, and it's unsigned. But as you can see, the top of the necklace has two pearls, but the rest of the necklace are clusters of three. And then you have these amazing, just crazy rhinestones. Um, looking at these faux pearls, they're not, um, they're not too bad. Oh, okay, I see a little scratch on this one, but you know, it looks pretty cool. It looks really like the pearls are classic and then you have the bling scattered throughout. I think it's really nice and it's all closed up in the back. That's the construction on the back side. So we have this uh, pretty nice one, I have to say. So we have that. Next up, I found this one. This one has a really nice, uh, see that? They're like little disc, textured. And some are polished, but you know what? It needs a really good clean. It's on this really nice, heavy um, curb chain and silver tone. Here's the backside, that, that's the construction. There's the lobster claw at the end. I see no maker's mark. There's a super long extender that has a, a bead at the end. And um, let's measure this. Let's measure this one. This one has a drop of, oh, nine inches. And then you have, look at how long that extender is. So we have this one that, like I said, even though um, it needs some cleaning, I think it would look pretty, pretty nice afterwards. I like it. I do like this one. It has that funness to it. <laughs> now this one here, this is, um, let's see. Okay, they're open work, open work flowers. And they each have a silver tone bead in the center. Uh, looking at it, I see some discoloration on the top of these two petals. But overall, um, you know, it's not significantly bad. I will wear this. I like it. It's it's not heavy at all, but it's not you know it's not doesn't feel too inexpensive. There is a lobster claw closure, and you can lengthen it with that extender. So measuring this one. Let's see, this one here, this one here has a drop of about seven and a half inches approximately. So, um, oops, let's twist that back. Yeah, the, uh, the bead in the center is the front. And the back of it looks like so. No name. Nope, can't find any. So we have this one. That's fun too. So, okay, in the back I have some long ones. So let's take a look at that next. This really long necklace doesn't have a closure. So this is something that you place over your head. It's made up of these, um, These are acrylic, these are hollow metal beads, and then you have the hollow hoops, and then you have these look like potato chips. <laughs> I'm always thinking of food. Um, and it's holding this tassel, tassels, and what's on them? You have a heart, you have a ring, you have a faceted bead, 
you have a chain you have a oh a moon more chains another bead oh this is a fun one wait a minute there's a jump ring here what's going on okay maybe this is some kind of puzzle maybe these chains don't belong here hmm all right you know what you can figure this out <laughs> and i'll i'll place it in the uh, uh, i'll price it very very uh cheaply okay so we have this one the next long necklace i mean look how long it is is holding these uh hammered hoops uh, very lightweight there is even a super long extender uh, with the rhinestone at the end. There's that lobster claw. This one's uh, one of those nice elongated ones. It even has a jewelry tag and it says um, envious. Envious. There's a lot of wear on, on the jewelry tag. Uh, okay, so there's the, the hoops. And here's a really long chain. I mean, um, hmm. I never heard of Envious. Um, it's almost a, almost a 16 inch drop to this. So this is a 32 inch chain along with this long extender that has that rhinestone at the end. And um, it's holding this. So like I said, this is uh, pretty lightweight and this does feel inexpensive. So we got this one. Ah. There you go. By Envious. This next one, really nice. Why? Because it has glass. Glass beads. And there's 10 of them um, in two different sizes. It's funny, the bottom of the necklace doesn't have one. Uh, they're faceted. They have a, like a mirrored coating on them. There's a lobster claw. There is an extender. So let's uh, measure the length of this one. It is long. It is 18 inches in drop long, making this a 36 inch necklace that can easily be doubled. Let me show you the beads because they are really fun and nice. That's funny. Only one is clear. You see that one? And the rest are not. Oh, the rest are. Oh, they have that gradient. Um, like por a portion of it has that mirrored coating. And then when you spin it around, there's the clear faceted part. Okay. So it gives it some um, variety. Any way you look at it. I love glass beads. I especially like uh, these colors are nice. It kind of looks like a slate blue in a way, but I think it's um I think it's just a uh, silver tone. So we have this one. All right, um, let's keep on going. I'm talking too much. There's a lot more to see. Okay, next up, uh, I found this uh, wooden beaded necklace. Um, interesting it's on this rubber cord with some uh, silver tone findings looking at it from the front it's uh, okay but when i looked on the back i saw a little chip on one of those components uh the necklace looks okay there is a lobster claw and an extender there's a little heart tag on the and no maker's mark um and let's see, anything else to see that's out of the norm? Um, no, I don't think so. So let me, uh, let's take a measurement of that. That floor is on the back of the necklace. Um, this has an eight inch drop and you do have that extender. So we have this. 
I guess you can clean it with wood cleaner. <laughs> the next one really uh, baffled me. It's kind of twisted. It's glass seed beads with this uh, iridescent coating on it, like a like a brown. Um, it has this type of closure. It's all knotted, but it can easily be unknotted. But you have all this really fun beads in here. They're acrylic, but you know, they can easily be repurposed. I mean, you have these amber tone. Look at the shapes of these. They're so crazy. Um, and then ovals and teardrops, little fun beads that can easily be repurposed. Look at these that are faceted. I think they're pretty wild. I like this with the gold um, design in them. So, um, yeah. I think someone just uh, tied it up and put all these uh, dangling bits on it. So we have that. Isn't that color pretty? And this one here is a double uh, strand copper tone. Look at that. For all these uh, components. Look at this one, it has all these designs. These have like very, um, this is like hammered. That one has like animal print. This has that, all those lines going across. This one too. Pretty cool. Um, copper tone. Let's uh, measure it to the shorter strand, and that's about oh, maybe about six and a half. But then you do have uh, you do have a bit of an extender. So you have this one here. It's that distressed copper tone look. And then lastly is this one. This one's another memory wire. These are glass beads. Uh, seed beads, and they're like a garnet color. There is a lobster claw at the end with an extender, and you have all this hanging off of it. And also these little chips, and I'm not sure what they are, but it's um, it's different. See, the way it hangs. Very um, I don't know. maybe Native American, tribally. So we have this one and these. So I think, uh, I think we'll look at rings next.